Hey, what's up, guys? This is an next review for Jim Lee, Scott William. They collaborate again, and this time they don't work on Superman for tomorrow. They work on the Batman. Yeah, that's right. Batman, hush. This one is hella sick. The art, again, like comparable to Superman for tomorrow. This comic book is also kick-ass. If you're a Batman fan like I am, I advise you to get check out this comic book. It is awesome, spectacular, kick-ass, badass, anything you want. Think positive. That's what this book, comic book is all about. Um, the It's spectacular. Let me just go over to the front again. So here we got Batman and the main bad dude. I, his name is Hush. I'm not going to tell you everything about the plot because I think this is what's the point of reading comic books is not to tell you what it's about ahead of start, but for you to figure out. That's what's reading all about. And then let's see, you got uh, Poison Ivy, Joker, um, Harley Quinn. Then we got the good, this, this side here is the bad guy side. Hella sick, right? Then we got Superman, I think. Uh, Harvey Dent. I don't know why he's a good guy in this. Uh, then we got Huntress. Oh, don't forget uh, what's uh, Catwoman right here. Check this out. Catwoman's right here, right? So then at the back cover, uh, we see uh, yeah, we see Batman right here and Catwoman, and uh, he's making out with her uh, for some. Um, reason why is he why is he why is he making out with her uh, I just don't understand why I mean Catwoman let's put it this way Catwoman she's mysterious I mean she's anti-hero and I mean I'm not saying that I I think it's great in this comic book they're actually making out um, because Catwoman is actually an anti-hero. She's not like full flesh evil bad woman shit, you know. But she's just anti-hero. She tries to do the good things when she needs to. Like in this Batman Hush, Batman and Catwoman team up to kick everyone's ass. And then Huntress comes along. Well, she comes along in the beginning, even before Catwoman. And the depiction of Cat Huntress was so badass. It was sexy, awesome, everything. Uh... Uh, I loved the way Catwoman was de depicted in. You literally see like almost every superhero uh, sidekick that Superman ever had. You see uh, Batgirl, Robin, Dick Grayson playing as Nightwing. And then you see uh, Huntress. It's so awesome. And then you literally see like Batman fighting against every single uh, villain he has ever countered. And then there's like a new villain and stuff. It's... It's crazy. There's this one scene that I really like about the soap opera. I love it. It reminds me about Final Fantasy VI where like, where Cecil or whatever her name is. And it was awesome. It's kind of like Final Fantasy VI at that scene with the soap opera. Um, I love the plot. This time the plot is absolutely badass. I think they could have done it the same way with Superman for tomorrow. Oh, and by the way, don't forget, there's also a crossover between Superman and Batman also in this one. And it is so sick. This time Batman actually fights Superman and kicks Superman's ass. I'm not going to tell you how and it's pretty obvious. But yeah, I think it's sick. And um, I thought it was this comic book is so awesome. I advise you guys to read it. I think this comic book with Jim Lee, again, Jim Lee kicks ass as an artist. He always kicks ass in every comic book, even when it comes to Superman, Batman, Marvel, whatever. He always kicks ass and so badass. Even his uh, buddy Scott Williams, his uh, quarterback, and otherwise he's, in, he's his inker and stuff. They work together. It's so awesome. They make a spectacular uh, they make a new world Batman come alive for us and I honestly said I was so pleased with Batman Hush the story line uh, Batman has a relationship with Catwoman I'm not going to go into details about the relationship but it's so awesome um, and then you see Batgirl 
and unfortunately she's on a wheelchair i'm not going to tell you why because you, that's something for you to figure out um yeah she's injured and then you know there's also a really sick scene with batman he literally tries to kill the joker like for like because he thinks the joker uh has caused too many problems and there's a really astonishing scene that really just blew my mind like how batman actually battles for justice and then james gordon comes and he's about to shoot batman if he kills joker because you know it's against a law to kill he doesn't and I, that part is crazy and if when you read the comic book you'll you'll know what i mean because it's really intensive and stuff but overall i think this is literally the best Batman series to actually start off. I mean, this was an issue, but they this is the collective volume. And by the way, if you're actually interested in getting this, get this one. Don't get the separate two-part volumes because you know have, uh, this one's better because it has it's a collected edition, obviously. Uh, so I advise you to get this one. It is so sick. You see, like Poison Ivy, all the chicks, every guy who plays the superheroes. Guys who play as super villains, chicks who play as superheroes, chicks who play as super villains. It's so sick. Um, the Batman universe in this comic book is is incredibly expanded. It is like um, awesome. But you know, uh, I love the way uh, Catwoman. She's really hot in this. Um, but I actually would like to see her with her uh, hair out. You know, just to just to show that she's actually a woman. Because I kind of don't think she is a woman, you know, like without her hair coming out, like the way Batgirl's hair is coming out. Because, you know, like she's really hot, you know, like the nice looking thing, you know. But Catwoman doesn't look like that. She looks like Batman with her hair just, just this, no hair, you know, no, there's no feminine looks about her. You know, you see the, you know, you see the, you know, the hoochies, but. That doesn't explain a lot, you know. That's not where the look attraction comes with the hair, you know. Like make her have red hair and stuff. I think that would look awesome. Um, just my opinion, you know. Uh, I I don't know what you guys think. If you think she's hot, you know, that's that's your opinion. But obviously, uh, I think this book is kick ass. Uh, read it. It's spectacular. Like man, I I actually loved it. Uh, I'm not going to go towards the plot. But plot 1 through 10, I would give it a 9.5. Like, literally a 9.5. It's obviously... The way they depict the plot in Batman... In Batman Hush is a lot better than... The plot that's depicted in Superman for tomorrow. And I'm saying that because... Uh, you want it to be realistic. You want it to be consistent. You want it to flow really nice and stuff. But I think Jeff Loeb, who is actually... The writer who made the plot for Batman Hush did a way better job than the way Brian Azzarello did in Superman for Tomorrow. It's just my opinion. You guys might have it the other way around. But, you know, I'm just putting it out there to see what you guys think about it. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I actually want to show you one scene that I actually really, really like. Um, hold up. Um... All right, there's another girl that Superman, Batman tries to kiss, but here's what's really funny. See, Batman, unfortunately, looks a lot confused when that uh, Italia tries to kiss him because he knows that Italia is really, really, really evil, you know. And when an evil tries to make out with someone who's a good guy... Uh, doesn't work out really well. But here, Super Batman actually loves it because he knows that uh, Catwoman as is actually good slash evil, but really she's just an anti-hero. So it makes sense to make out with her because she's she has feelings for Batman, unlike Italia. Well, I mean, Italia does have feelings for Batman, but not it's not as good as... The way Catwoman has it for Batman. I mean, yeah, it's just the way it is. But, like, it's it's awesome. This Batman Hush, uh, you see romance. Uh, freaking uh, Harley Quinn is just, like, a psychopathic bitch in this. Um, Joker, 
He's like a complete nutsack. Every time when I read Joker in this, I always have the voice of Mark Hamill in my head. And it's because he also voiced Joker in the Batman animated series. But it Mark Hamill is like everywhere for Joker. He's like the main name for Joker. And I think he's the character that makes Joker come... I mean, he's the guy who made Joker come alive. And I just think that it's... This book is just awesome. Uh, the plot is masterpiece. Art, Jim Lee, once again, maybe this is for you. Uh, I just want to make sure that you remember this, Batman Hush. And I hope you're out there making a continuation series for Batman. But please make it just as spectacular as this. And, you know, that also comes down to the storyline and stuff that you also need. So this is Kick-Ass. Check it out. Yo, peace. Let me know. Bye.